Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. I welcome you all to AppSac's online support program. Today I am going to discuss grade 2 mathematics. This is our week 4. That is a revision week. Today is day 1, Monday. Before starting a lesson, let's see what we have in our value of the day. Be careful with your words. Once they are said, they can be only forgiven, not forgotten. So my dear students, always think before you speak and handle your words carefully. Here is our mental math segment. You can see that there are chocolates here and let's count how many chocolates are there in all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. So there are sixteen chocolates. If I say that I'm going to eat eight chocolates. So I'm going to cut these eight chocolates because I eat them. Now let's see that how many chocolates are left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. 8 chocolates are left. So I can say that 16 minus 8 is equals to 8. Our today's topic is chapter number 6 dividing by 3 and 4. Lesson 1 dividing by 3 and 4. Objectives are, at the end of today's lesson, students will be able to divide a number by 3 and divide a number by 4. Here is our definition of division. Division is splitting into equal parts or groups. The sign of division is a single horizontal line with two dots. There is an interesting fact. Division is inverse of multiplication. Basically, division is the opposite of multiplication. How? In multiplication, the number increases, whereas in division, the number decreases. Here you can see Birds. Let's count how many birds are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there are 6 birds altogether. So now we are going to divide these 6 birds into 2 groups. Here you can see that there is a 1 group of 3 birds and the other group of 3 birds. So I can say that 6 Divided by 3 is equals to 2 because in each group there are 3 birds and there are 2 groups all together. Here is an activity for you my dear students. There is a division story that states there are 12 apples and 4 baskets. How many apples will be there in each basket? So you have to divide 12 apples into 4 baskets. Here we have a pictorial demonstration of our division story. Let's count apples. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 apples and 4 baskets. So now I am going to divide these 12 apples into 4 baskets. Now let's see that how many apples will be there in each basket. 1, 2, 3. So you can see that each basket has 3 apples. So division fact would be 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. And in multiplication process you can see that 3 multiplied by 4 is equal to 12. As 3 apples in each basket and 4 
Four basket has twelve apples altogether. Success criteria is remember to use the correct symbols for multiplication and division and divide by three and four correctly. Here's a written work for you, my dear students. You have to practice textbook page number 103 and 104. Question number 2, 3 and 4 on loose sheet. I hope that today's topic is clear to you all. Stay home, stay safe, stay healthy and thank you so much.